Oh my god. Welcome to our 24th episode of Apex Instant Tips, coming to you live every Friday at 12.05 Eastern Time for five minutes only from Massachusetts. My name is Hayden. And from Montreal, my name is Michelle. So Hayden, you enjoyed having me on your show so much last week that you've not only invited me back, but you have decided to make me your new co-host, apparently. That's right. Uh, Anton has gotten the boot and we have upgraded to you. So, of course, that's not true. Anton is taking a well-deserved vacation this week. Anton, if you are watching, hello. I am going to try and fill your shoes this week. So, keeping with uh, the tradition that I started last week of your guest not only com coming on and not presenting a tip, I do not have a tip for you this week. I have another challenge for you to help me solve, please, Hayden. I am delighted to hear it. Uh, I look forward to see uh, seeing what you have. Fantastic. So let me share my screen. And look, I've installed the timer, you see? I've got it all ready. It's almost as though we've rehearsed this. I know. Can you imagine? Here we go. I will kick that off. So Hayden, this is something that um, I've come across lately. Uh, I have recreated it here in the sample application. So the scenario is um, I have created a form and report on the customer table. So we're in the sample database, we're talking customers, we're talking orders. So I've used the wizard, created the form and report on table. And now if I come to my details screen, I wanted to add a region over here that shows the orders for the customer. So I've got the customer orders and I want to be able to, or to add in a new order for the customer here. And what I had been hoping to do was display the customer name over here, but as you can see, it's blank. So we're on page 36 now. My uh, customer detail page was page 34. I want to show you how I've created this. Um, let me go to page 36. Not 364. Not 364. So name field over here is referencing 34 customer first name, customer last name. But as you can see, it's not displaying over here. Not only that, when I cancel out of here, I seem to have lost all my values. Um, Hayden, I've done this in so many other apps before. I've never had this problem. So I'm missing something pretty basic and I'm hoping that you can help me solve this problem. Well, I don't know if it's basic, but it, 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 I think this is a really fun puzzler. So I, I wonder if any of our viewers already have a suspicion as to what's going on here. So, so just to review the, the clues that Michelle has given us, uh, namely there are three of them. So first clue, uh, Michelle created a page 34 based off of a declarative form on a table using the Apex wizard. Uh, second clue, somehow the item is no longer in session state. So it's just, you can't reference it with the ampersand dot syntax on page 36. And then third clue, and I like this one, uh, it used to work. So- I've done this so many times. So, and, and it's true, it did like, um, in earlier versions of Apex, what you what you demonstrate here, you, you wouldn't have this problem to demonstrate. So so what's going on? If you if you think you know what it is, please comment. Pop but it I'll in the comments. I'll go ahead and reveal the answer. So. I'm going to guide you to um, uh, click on quick edit. Okay. And then let's take a look at cust first name. And on the right hand side, uh, type maintain session. And uh, what we see here oh. is a, a new option as of Apex 19.1. So if you have rewound to an earlier version of Apex prior to 19.1, you wouldn't even see this option. Everything would okay. be default in disk. Uh, now, Whenever you create a form on a table, uh, whenever your item points to a column in a table, Apex will make the intelligent assumption to maintain the session state of that value in memory only, which means that uh, you'll get exactly the, the problem that you have. You, um, when you uh, navigate from the builder back to the page, when you go from that page to another page and navigate back, 
there's nothing to reference in session state and you'll clear the, the form. So, so that is a that is exactly as it is designed to do. If you so want, is, it is a feature, not a bug. It is a feature in a bug. Uh, so, the uh, if you wanted to reproduce how it used to work, you can override yes. Apex's okay. choice. I don't All recommend right. you do this, but if you wanted to, if you really needed to, you could select those three items that you need, go back All to right. me and say switch it to disk, okay. and let's demonstrate that now your problem is solved. So now. Grab my customer, grab my order. I've got the name, works. Yeah. I like it working this way. <laughs> Go back, my data is still here. This is yeah. what I'm used to. Um, you say you don't recommend, I was gonna say, you know, normally if the Apex team does something, there's a reason for it. So it's generally probably not good practice to change some of these things. So you are going to maybe recommend a different way of doing this. Yes, so so I recommend sticking with Apex's All right. default, and 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 where in, in the final twenty seconds, so I'll just hurry through like the justification for it. There there are both performance and security benefits. So, but okay. uh, performance because it's uh, there's less in and out on the WW flow data table, and it's security benefits there's less opportunity for at URL hacking and trying to bypass such and state protection. And so that, that is that is a time, and I'm going to call this tip a win. We can discuss more uh, details about this in the discussion session. But for those of you who just joined us four or five minutes, uh, you are welcome to take off without feeling rude. And uh, but please like and subscribe and tell do your friends about us. Do all the things. Uh, find us on Twitter. Um, and uh, uh, Michelle and I are going to have some discussion. We'll take some audience questions. And oh, and then I have a, a creepy quiz for for Michelle to uh, to add a little humor at the end. So, um, uh, Michelle, what do you think of uh, this tip? Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's so we didn't get to how I should implement this in here. I guess I would have to pass in the IDs through the buttons and rather than referencing, pull the data from the database. It's so obviously there's there's a fix. It feels like a bit more work. There are no shortcuts when it comes to security, I guess. Yes, uh, I think there is almost always a trade-off between convenience and security. And uh, I think that uh, I think there, there are several like easy solutions that, that um, our viewers can guess for like how else to do what we um, right. demonstrated. Uh, but now that we know that this is a feature and default in Apex, it may change some of the uh, patterns of operation that we have. We may think a little bit differently about how we use session state. Certainly, we have to be more careful about it. Yeah. So a couple of things. So I'm going to assume, because like I said, I've done this many, many times in the past, and it's always worked. I don't have to worry about apps where I've had this working that may now be upgraded to 19.2 or 20.1. I'm going to assume that the Apex team wouldn't have broken anything in those apps and things will still continue working as they should. Yeah, no, no worries there. So if, if, it, okay. if it worked before and you merely upgrade, it's still going to work. However, uh, in the future, as you continue to use, leverage the wizard for creating uh, forms on tables, you may find that Apex makes some choices for you that that disrupt some of the patterns that you're used to. Right. You didn't sound surprised when I came to you with this issue. Is this something that kind of confused you or caught you off guard in the past? Or did I bring you something Were you? Yeah. Did well, you know so, it from day one? So the, the first thing, the first reason why I wasn't surprised is because we may or may not have rehearsed precisely this session. <laughs> Uh, the, the, the second reason, You're giving away all our secrets, Aiden. <laughs> Nobody thinks we rehearse these things. But the, the, the second reason is um, <laughs> I, I did have precisely this issue, um, and I uh, was, um, I, uh, but I learned about it um, from our uh, uh, from Dietmar Aus. I went to his session at Kscript 19. And it was, it was called the Golden Nuggets, and um, I have uh, internalized it and uh, kept it in my back pocket ever since. Great. 
conferences, eh? It feels like it's been a long time since we've been to any conferences. That is right. And um, uh, on that subject, um, uh, at conferences, we uh, mingle with strangers. Uh, how do you uh, feel about your ability to make uh, split second judgments on strangers, Michelle? I feel like in general, I'm pretty good at sussing people out. Okay. So what am I, so, what am I supposed to be assessing about these strangers? Well, this is an, an extremely smooth segue into um, <laughs> the, the, the creepy quiz that we teased earlier. Um, so um, at said conference, you might meet a variety of people. Uh, it may be important that you be able to distinguish between uh, programming language inventors and serial killers. So I found this quiz um, uh, uh, on Reddit and uh, I thought it might be apropos. So if you want to test your wits against this quiz um, and perhaps the audience will uh, want to advise you, but uh, essentially the, the quiz will guide you through a series of photographs and you'll have to make, make your best judgment. All right, I definitely want the audience to help us out here. I have to say between your, um, yeah, your your creepy URLs or scary URLs and now a morbid quiz, I'm going to be very wary <laughs> if I see any emails coming in from Hayden Hudson. Um, I have You are not sharing screen. your screen if you think you are. I am going to share my screen right away. So... Audience participation here. So what are we doing? We need to identify programming language inventor or serial killer. That's right. Here we go. Let's start. Uh, this guy is absolutely a serial killer. Ah, how, how he is to very disrespectful. I was wrong and my apologies. If you guys want to play along, <laughs> please do. All right, who's next? Oh, no, come on. She's definitely... Do, do you have an instinct, Hayden? Uh, she I, looks like, harmless to me. She looks? She looks harmless. Like, harmless, for yeah. sure. Do you mind if we go fairly quickly no, uh, when, when it's a serial killer? Yeah, some, there's some, there's some, so one. she was a serial killer, absolutely. Okay, um, this dude... Like, I'm sorry, my apologies to his family or to any, but serial killer, for sure. He looks creepy. Ah. And he he is, I'm going to. Yeah, let's hurry through it. <laughs> Aw, I, I mean, he, he looks pretty harmless. I, I'm going to say yeah, programming language inventor. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. So. Like, honestly, if I go to conferences anytime soon, I'm going to like not I'm not going to survive. Right. I'm not a very good judge. This guy, Hayden, who do you think? <laughs> serial uh, killer? Or... He looks pretty creepy to me. So I'm going to say serial killer. Serial killer. Uh, Co-designed I... the created short code. All right. I think we should apologize. Yeah, I feel bad. He looks friendly. He looks friendly. Yeah. He was harmless. That's really even mean that they included them in this in, included him in this quiz. He <laughs> absolutely looks harmless. I mean, this guy, yeah, serial no, killer true. all the way. <laughs> all right. I I don't know if we want to continue. Plamen is saying this is too much. <laughs> Four in a row. Here we go. She is not. A I mean, I want to. She's not a serial killer. Oh. Cobal. Yeah. Go girls. All right. And I, I trust we're nearing the end of this. Uh, we are nearing the end. He looks friendly. I, I'm going to say. Friend. Yeah. Oh. Python. Greeter he is friendly. So you're doing better at this than I am. Oh. He also serial looks serial killer. Oh, you oh. think he looks? Oh, you were right. So, Hayden, I am not coming home from a conference alive anytime <laughs> soon. So maybe I should continue avoiding them. I think uh, I was not that good at picking out the serial killers. Yes. Well, uh, I, I hope no one was um, uh, put off their appetite um, over lunch by 
the thought of serial killers, but I, I thought that was pretty funny. And uh, certainly a, a, an example of the, the strange things that come out of the bowels of the internet. Oh, super duper hero. By the way, we, we, we want to really know who you are. For, yeah. <laughs> we don't, we want to know who super duper hero is. Um, apparently, yeah, we are being shamed. We should do our homework next time before we do a quiz like that. We should. But, uh, <laughs> uh, to those of, uh, of you who are still with us, um, we want to thank you for, for joining us for this uh, brief uh, tip. And uh, uh, please like and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you next Friday where Anton will join us once again. Anton will be back. Yes. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Thanks all. Bye.